Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We have a very special video for you guys today. And uh, I'm here with Andrew Tucker, and we are at my 34 acre field of corn that is no-till. So Andrew and I are out here today with his brand new drone, and he's gonna tell us all about it. So thanks for having me, Ryan. Uh, I always love bringing new technology to How Farms Work. <laughs> and uh, this is actually the first uh, farm I've been to to be able to demonstrate what we have here and uh, Braden's here with me. So I picked him up from school earlier today <laughs> and uh, uh, we got the Agris T20. So uh, this is one of the newer uh, models in the line of spray drones. Um, it's a pretty neat model. I did some fungicide application with this earlier this year. I was very impressed with the job it did. And this has both a liquid and dry application ability. So I was thinking out here, um, granted, I guess given the fact that this is a, a regularly no-till field, uh, we're going to try some tillage radishes out here. So tillage radish is a popular cover crop here in Wisconsin that um, helps to break up the soil compaction in a no-till situation without doing any mechanical tillage, add some organic matter uh, to the soil, and uh, helps conserve some nutrients. So it really depends on the year, the conditions that you have, uh, any rainfall that we would get after application, and then how many days before it freezes. Um, all those factors come into play to determine how well that cover crop's going to work. But you don't know unless you try, so we're going to try some here today. Cool. So what else can you tell us about the drone? That I've got a lot to learn about it yet. <laughs> so, so this this is is this its main voyage or? Nope. Um, okay. I so I did some training yesterday. Uh, actually, two days ago, did a, quite a bit of training, several hours of training with this, uh, with an instructor, and. Um, uh, we're in the process of, uh, of getting, um, you know, there's a lot of paperwork to do. Um, there's, uh, you know, you just, just it, you can't just have anybody fly one of these. There is, there's paperwork to do, there's training to do, there's licensing and insurance to get. Uh, so uh, I've been busy working on all those aspects to be able to get this drone um, functioning and, uh, and have all my I's dotted and T's crossed. So, cool. um, so yeah, so we're just starting to get out, do some work with this. Uh, my goal is that by next year, um, I'll have everything learned, everything figured out, and really be able to do some um, some quality work with it. Cool. So we got her all set up now, and uh, should be pretty well ready to fly, right? You got it. Cool. So we just uh, we just went through and mapped the field. Um, uh, the the first flight uh, here uh, was going through and putting our lines in, putting our boundary in. Uh, you can see the path that this drone is going to fly here. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, different information on the side. So yes, we're ready to hit start and uh, let this uh, drone fly autonomously. And you see we're uploading all the data to the drone. Okay. So uh, once the drone takes off, unless we send it a new signal, all the information's on the drone for it to know how to fly. So if you lose signal from the controller, Okay, it says right there, return to home. Can you adjust mm -hmm. that to you know keep spreading? You can adjust it to complete the job or to hover. Okay. Yep, there's three settings there. All right. So, sit self check. The drone is about to take off. So it's beeping at me because it's seeing these power lines okay. just to the side. So you can see right there, it's detecting that power line. So it knows it doesn't want to fly any farther over that way. Okay. So now it's getting down real low. Yep. Less than you'll hear it. Now we're spinning. So, okay. So the line turns green from where you've previously seen Correct. Spread. Yep. Yellow is the plan. Green is completed. Wow. And it's going to save uh, battery life. It's not going to turn around. It's going to fly in reverse now on its way back. So it moves to the side, side to side. So it's basically non-directional. It'll just fly where it needs to go. Correct. Okay. Yep. So I'm actually flying backwards. If I bring up the camera. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
Moving over to the next path. The way it goes. So it doesn't tell you uh, like tank level or anything like that. It just kind of does its own thing. It does, yeah. There's, I'm still um, learning some of that, yeah. but it's going to tell me when it's out. Okay. On liquid, it'll tell me how many gallons I have left down oh, yeah. here. Yep. But it doesn't know the density, and so well, on the dry side of things, it'll tell me when I'm out, but it's not going to tell me how fast I'm I'm spreading the seed. Okay. I mean, it, it moves along. It gets stuff done. Yeah. Main thing is I watch this battery, so I'm going to bring it home. You know, it's not going to run out of seed. I'm going to bring it home when that battery gets down to probably that 30%. Okay. And it, it didn't start off with a full charge because we mapped it too. Yeah. So. so I'm getting within 30% battery life. I just paused it and I'm going to bring it home. You got it. So I've got 8% completed. Really? Already? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> There's a drone in front of you.
Eight acres left. Looking yep. pretty good. Half done. And these are going to go faster because not turning around near as much. Yeah. Well, drones all boxed back up, and uh, we got it all covered. At least that upper part of the field. So, 18 acres worth. So thanks for bringing it down, and uh, we'll see how it brings up radishes here in the next coming couple weeks, I guess. Yeah. How fast do you think uh, we'll start to see? Well, to depends on when it rains, when you it know. Rains. So they're talking a chance of rain in about four days. Hopefully that happens, and then we'll be able to see something. If it doesn't rain for a couple weeks, well, it was a good trial, I guess. Right. <laughs> so, but no, that was uh, uh, that was a pretty good flight there, and and uh, we'll it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. I think drones definitely have a place in the future of agriculture. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, All How Farms Work. And with that, I'll see you next time. It's now been two weeks since we spread the nitro radish with the drone. And uh, we haven't gotten to this cornfield yet. And as you can see, we've got baby nitro radishes growing.